When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the day of their dreams. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? <laughs> Dirt here. She's cleaning it. I don't care. It's not my problem that it's dirty. It's her own fault. <laughs> you are kidding me. The bouquets are still yellow. <gasps> How the hell do you have lipstick? It's a stupid little thing. Weddings are lively parties. Weddings are social events. Weddings are draining on your bank account. Meet newlyweds Michelle and Rick. Their trip to the altar was a risky ride down the information highway, but did they have the funds to pull off their perfect wedding? Hold on to your mouse, because you're about to find out. My name is Michelle, I'm 22 years old. I'm a mechanical designer at a water systems company. About four years ago, I met Rick on our first day of school and college. We have a beautiful baby girl, Kylie. We've never been to a wedding before, and this is the story of our dream wedding day. Okay, if I pull up Geraldo's website here, okay, this is our room and this is the head table right here. Michelle and Rick may have never been to a wedding, but they were well-versed in the art of online shopping. At the end of the show, we'll let you in on what our newlyweds' virtual fantasy actually cost. Our wedding day was perfect. I couldn't ask for anything better, and I was really surprised, actually, how smooth it went. Yeah, all the problems that we were kind of expecting to happen didn't happen at all. Well, Rick, like my mother used to say, the problems that you anticipate are never the ones you have to worry about. Let's slip back in time and see what really happened. Our expectations of the wedding planner was just to make sure that the entire day went smooth and that I really didn't have to pay attention to anything. Good thing you had wedding planner Yvette Shire helping you, cause weddings are nothing like what you see in the movies. I am here to advise them and to make sure that they don't make any mistakes, but at the end of the day, they're deciding what they want. It's their wedding, it's their money. I'm there to help them along the way. And they may listen to the suggestions, they may not. And in the end, they make the final decision. So tell me about your vision for your wedding. I envision, um, you know, the wedding to be all about romance, love, red roses. I don't know, I kind of was hoping for like a potluck. Why not BYOB while you're at it? It's all done outside. <laughs> Outvoted, I think, on yeah. that one. <laughs> What about the ceremony? We have booked the ceremony to be at the same place as our hall. Do they have a separate room where you can have the ceremony? Or? No, not at all. After the ceremony is done, I guess everybody has to go outside right. while they take out the chairs and put the tables back. I've budgeted my whole year to make sure that we can pay for it because we're paying for everything. Michelle, how much would you like to spend on your wedding dress? Would I'm not sure. I was thinking maybe like $500. 500 yeah, I know it's... Or less. <laughs> <laughs> or less. And holy well, cow. That's a lot of money for something you're going to wear for one day. If that, like you're only going to have it on for a few hours. Right. I'm trying to look at other options, maybe online and stuff like that. So if you get something and it doesn't fit you, then you'll be spending a lot of money in alteration. Right, right. So you want to make sure that you're saving enough that it's going to make it worthwhile yeah. should they not fit. I'm cheap, and I didn't want to spend, like, Hardly anything. What are you thinking of for flowers? I'm actually pretty sure that I want some silk flowers. Silk flowers. You know, sometimes you don't save as much money with silk flowers as you think. You know, I want to be able to keep my bouquet after right. the ceremony. You don't want them to look sort of cheap either. I don't think I'm going to budge on that. Really? Okay. What kind of wedding cake would you like to have? Well, Rick's grandma, she actually said, okay, you pick the nicest cake you want and I'll pay yeah, for it. Yeah, she told us to get whatever cake we wanted okay. and she would cover the cost of it. A few things that I would be concerned about right away. Number one is the venue and the space. I need that pillar. I need that pillar. I need one table oh, to be right here. Some of the other concerns I have is online purchases. These dresses look like the ones I saw in the store. To order something sight unseen, you have no idea what you're going to get. Okay, great. I have a really good idea of what you want. You want to make sure the day looks beautiful. You don't want to spend a lot of money. You're going to try to save wherever you can, but you still want it to be really nice for your guests. I, I, I'm sure that that's an important part for you. 
Do you have a budget ready? Yeah, we've uh, worked out a budget right here. Thank you. Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? We've got a lot of work to do. <laughs> Coming up. <gasps> you are kidding me! I don't think we have one shot of our wedding that is exceptional. Yes, yes. And uh, if the photographer is watching, you should be ashamed of it. <laughs> When surfing the information highway for your wedding essentials, it's easy to get carried away. But would Michelle's online shopping addiction lead her to a virtual Maybe wedding day disaster? Nice Maybe online and stuff like that. If you get something and it doesn't fit you, then you'll be spending a lot of money in operations. Right, right. Stick around and find out if in the end our couple's budget stayed online. I insisted on silk flowers, and everybody thought I was weird for that. So I went back online. I found beautiful silk bouquets. My bouquet, the girls' bouquet, the boutonnieres, the corsages, the toss bouquet, like everything, everything was included. Everything? Well, yeah, almost. And then just to confirm then, the food and the bar, the price per person is $69.95. Is that right. still correct? Does that include all the taxes and gratuities? Taxes, gratuities, room rental, bar, Okay. Floral arrangements, everything. What about the flowers for the head table? This is the setup I saw that That's it's right. gonna look like. Right, that looks very nice. I like it. And you're gonna give me all these flowers and the... the so those aren't included on the head table. All of these? Those you have to order yourself. I thought that that's how my table was going to look, and you're telling me they're not. So if you want something like that, that would be extra. We need to talk about that with a florist. I already ordered. <laughs> The flowers. I am sure that in our previous meeting, when we were looking at the photos of the room, that I did ask about those flowers, and they, he said they, that they can do that for me. So, looks like you had to buy real flowers after all. Okay, so today we're gonna look at some centerpieces for the head table. I just okay. wanted some kind of like really standing out color, like, like maybe a blue or something completely different. Oh, okay. Like this kind of blue? That's pretty wild. I love those. Those are orchids, I think, or something yep. like that. So what do you think you want to spend per centerpiece? What I was planning on spending was about $50. I don't know. Good for you, Michelle. Cut right to the chase. Container. Marco, we wanted to get some flowers for the head table. Whatever so, it is you like, we could do up a sample one and uh, take a picture of it and email it to you and say, hey, you like it? Yeah? Yeah, of course. Email? Music to Michelle's ears. <laughs> so, we found a really, really nice dress. Oh, yeah? It was better than all of them. We went to like five bridal stores. As soon as I tried it on, Chrissy goes, that's the dress. We knew right away all the ladies came and it was so How nice. much? $1,600. What? Well, we can't afford $1,600 on a wedding dress. I'm a big online buyer, so I searched online. I looked for cheaper dresses. I found a knockoff, which is was identical, you know, in every way for maybe 80% less than the original price. And it turned out to be perfect. Perfect? Michelle, you may have redeemed online shopping, but you still needed some alterations. This piece of elastic. So it was small before, it was like piling over. So you over. try when you go home in case you still like a fix it. See, I got her to put a bustle in, and hopefully, if that fits, then that's awesome. Underneath here, there's like a whole bunch of little clips. There should be three, I think. Okay. What? It's got dirt here. Oh, oh she's dead. All over here. No, she's gonna fix all of that because it got dirty at her place. Really dirty. Eh? She's cleaning it. I don't care. It's not my problem that it's dirty. It's her own fault. So, anyways, I brought the dress in to be cleaned, and Antoinette was waiting for me. <laughs> if you could just check around. I don't know. It's as small as small spots here. Yeah, there's yeah, a couple clean. like that. Okay. I can clean this. Yeah, so but you'll have to take the train out because it's on the back at the yeah, bottom yeah, yeah. right where the train yeah. is. I'm gonna open everything and then I'm gonna clean the... Can I pick it up at around three? Yeah, okay. Your clock is good. Yeah, three clock is good. <sighs> it's amazing what you can do with a little elbow grease and a can of stain remover. Turns out they weren't even stains, they're just little dirty marks. They came out no problem. She showed me the dress, it was Perfect, and you know, everything was great. 
We chose wine as guest favors because I thought it was going to be um, elegant. Hi. Hi. How can okay. I help you? Um, I'm interested in getting some wine for my party favors for the wedding. Sure. I think I want red wine. Do you have a price list or something I do. we can look at? Do you know what kind of wines you're looking no, at? No, not at all. I'm just going to get the most common. Whatever's good. Whatever's good, what most people like. The common know. one, very popular, is Cabernet Sauvignon. OK, I'm going to do a bottle per couple. So that would be. How many couples do you have? Well, I have 81 people, so. 40 couples. Wait. So let's say about 42 bottles of the 375 mil, right? OK, so the rest I was going to get in a large bottle to give to, like, uh, maybe my parents or the bridal party as a more special. The 750 mil, then? Yes. So let's do some calculations here. If I get 42 small bottles, how many big bottles I could get? To complete your one batch, seven of the 750 mil. Your total is 148.79. The bottling day was rather easy, as a matter of fact. It was a couple of simple little steps, and the, and the bottles were finished. And the one lady who was working there put the labels on for us, so it oh, saved us awesome. one step. Oh, that was awesome, yeah. I didn't even and know she were, was going to And they were all pretty straight, so I mean, there was no crooked labels that uh -huh. I would have had, so. Yeah, that's she, right. <laughs> so Michelle, I just placed your seven bottles into this box here, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, I'll open the door. I got it. That's okay. I got it. That's okay, because I don't want to come back. <gasps> you are kidding me! I just told you I would open the door. We don't have time to make more, Rick. That is bloody well perfect. Those were the big ones, weren't they? So now what? <laughs> now what? Is there enough of those ones? There was four extras. Yeah, yeah. Like, we have enough of the small ones. No use crying over spilled wine. The party will still go on. Coming up. You're kidding me! People told you where to stand at that yeah, time, but, but that, apart rehearsal. from that, there was no rehearsal. Nothing. It was cold. It was. Yeah. It was ad lib. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> we didn't have any rehearsal suppers, dinners, whatever. No matter how cautiously you plan your web search, there's always something with the potential to shatter your wedding budget. <gasps> You are kidding me! At the end of the show, we reveal how much it costs for Michelle and Rick to pick up the pieces. With the click of a mouse, Michelle and Rick secured their venue, picked their silk flowers, and ordered her wedding dress. It looked like things were running smoothly, or were they? By the time the rehearsal was done, I still wasn't very comfortable with what the heck I was supposed to do. I just thought, eh, I guess I'll wing it because I don't want to do this again. I don't know. I thought my job was pretty easy. I, I just got, got to stand there. just got to stand there, you know? Yeah, that looks, that looks I better. hate it. Yeah. The flower issue came in during the rehearsal. The roses were like a light green, which we're going to bring in the girls' dresses. So, and this is yellow. It's overpowering. Yellow has nothing to do with yes. this room. There's nothing yellow in this room. Okay. Looks nothing like we showed them. For every bride's problem, a wedding planner solution. What about this, Michelle? Look with the more, more of the white mums in here. I think that'll look nice. That yellow is just distracting. Yeah. yeah. OK. Nicole, uh, Time to call the florist. Voicemail. Yvette Shire speaking. We wanted to make some changes. The colors that you have selected were too yellow. Just keep calling tomorrow, all morning. Yeah. Call, call, call. I don't see that he can do anything but deliver on that day, and we'll make sure that happens. That's if he checks his voicemail. I had planned to go to the flower shop because I did not want to be surprised like I was before. So as I'm doing all this crazy running around, the whole time I'm on the phone with the flower shop, you know, phone calls back and forth. Like I was supposed to come in today, I've been waiting for calls, I've just been running my errands throughout the day waiting for a call because I wanted to come in and see them. I just wanted to make sure that they knew what changes I wanted. Like my wedding is tomorrow, there would be no way I would be coming in to check flowers tomorrow. Um, so nobody's coming in at all today. Okay, bye-bye. I just found out Phil and Marco aren't going to be at the flower shop today. I don't know what that's going to do because I have no time tomorrow to go and check, obviously. You know, I really didn't want to have to just rely on their judgment as what happened last night proved that I didn't want to do that. 
On the day of the wedding, after waking up late, and, and our hair appointment was for 8.30, so we were on schedule still. It's just like a clearish looking. I really wanted some relaxing, but I didn't get any. But that's what the honeymoon's for. That was the honeymoon, I guess. <laughs> or in Rick's case, their wedding day. It's a shot nerves. <laughs> Shot nerves? Yours or your future brides, Rick? <gasps> You're kidding me! Did you get some on you? How the hell do you have lipstick? It's a stupid little thing. Give me a break. Oh my god. Ooh. Figures, though. Good thing you didn't go for the more expensive dress. I just um, got lipstick all over my dress. Oh. How did you do that? The See? thing flipped, of course, when yeah. I was trying to put the lid on. Looks like a chocolate stain. Oh, no. Well, and so much for relax. By the time we get this thing out, I'll have to go. Yeah. Ah, uh, day's gonna be over. I'm gonna be like, blah. Now it's done. <laughs> Big deal. I spent all that money. Now it's done. Woohoo. <laughs> Couple more of those, you'd be just fine. <laughs> Oh, hold on, Ramasha. <laughs> nice. Hello. It's Yvette. Hi. I, um, I'm just at the venue, and I've seen the new centerpiece. They still have the yellow roses in them, and they look pretty yellow. So I think what I might do, there's about four in each bouquet. I would rather take those out and put some red ones in. I think that would work better with the color scheme. Oh, really? The bouquets are still yellow. They're still yellow. They're still yellow. Sorry, Michelle. What color was that again? And from joystick to pinprick, the groom was ready to go. I don't know. I'll just stick it through your suit a couple of times and jab it into itself. Yeah. Okay. Coming up. This is all the kisses they put on the uh, table. Need, I don't think so. Need. Well, cost the weddings today, we would probably get married at City Hall. <laughs> If I was getting married again today, I would want to do it in Las Vegas. <laughs> when it comes to weddings, it's always a big deal. After all, it's I do, but at what cost? No matter what the budget, is it ever enough? The bouquets are still yellow! Soon, we'll show you just how much Michelle and Rick spent to make their dream wedding come true, and whether their woo-hoo became a boo-hoo when the final tally came in. When Michelle walked in the room, it was just like a blanket fell over me. I kind of got super nervous and, and emotional all at the same time, but it never really came out like it was one of those, I'm emotional, but you don't know it. I don't know, everything after that, like once she got up to the front, I was fine again. Like it was no big deal, it's just another day. Richard, will you have Michelle to be your wife? I will. Say it louder so everybody hears it. I will. And there too I give you my solemn promise. <laughs> you may seal your vows with your kiss. The transition between the ceremony setup and the reception setup was a concern for Yvette. People didn't even know what was happening. They were just having their little yeah. conversation in the corner and they turned around and the room was already changed. Really, Rick? Because it looks like some of them joined in for a game of musical chairs. I think the changeover was a bit crowded, a bit busy. It was a very cold day, so people did go outside. But it was it was pretty chaotic in here. Yeah, like, I can't get anywhere. This is all the kisses they put on the table? I don't think so. Tiny for picture thing. A little red. That's better. That's better. But when the room settled, it was a wonderful evening. Drinks were poured, bouquets were thrown, and emotions flowed. Well, almost. I don't know, I never cried or nothing, but like I kind of felt like I was swollen up inside and ready to do it any minute. And then once that was over, it was just, everything just calmed just right down, and it was just relief, everybody eh? getting together for a party. I guess, actually, now I'm a little disappointed it's over because I wish, like, you know, it's a special time. <laughs> Well, Rick, you may not have cried during the wedding, but let's see how you do when you see the final bill. The original budget that we gave a vet was $7,000. The cake was a gift from my grandma, and it really helped out our budget a lot. It, I haven't had a chance to taste it yet, but I'm sure it's great. 
Even though I didn't like the fresh flowers, the silk ones turned out great. The cost was $260. Michelle looked fabulous in her dress. I, she looked better than I was expecting. I mean, I think it was worth every last penny of the $537 that was spent on it. Yvette was a big help. Her fee was $2,000. The venue was great. The cost, including the food and alcohol, was $5,433. Additional costs, including guest favors, photographer, and rings, came to $4,183. So what we actually spent on the wedding was $12,413. So we went over budget by $5,413. But we expected that, so that's why we initially gave Yvette such a low budget to start with. So all in all, it worked out and we're very happy. The couple is happy their love never ending, and their budget a virtual reality. The only question left is, did Michelle have a good online plan with unlimited internet hours? It was a traditional Jewish cemetery. And cemetery? A cemetery when it was a, yeah, <laughs> ceremony. We ordered... Uh, room service. Room service, yes. and the waiter came up to our room and had a few drinks. And we it. watched the wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that's gonna leave a mark.